Hey there, what's up guys? I'm Afshin and here is my home studio. Today I want to talk about the FLS Studio. And as I told you before in my uh, previous tutorials, uh, I believe the FLS Studio has some problematic issues in way which it's, uh, you know, manage your CPU cores. So in this tutorial, I want to talk about the problems and how to manage and how to adjust your menus to have a better sense and you know less pressure on your CPU in your projects. So now gotta go. Well, as I told you in my previous tutorials, I believe the Philo Studio, despite being a great doll have some you know problematic issues with computers architectures so uh, you should adjust its, its menus you know conveniently to uh, you know feel a better experience while using this software so the first step would be project general setting in this tab we have time base here time base is something related to your vision from your uh, you know workplace maybe so I'm gonna insert a wave here to show you uh, what's the differences between different time base so if you decrease this measurement your vision maybe become tighter and if you increase this amount it's uh, you know showing some more clear uh, differences so uh, if you increase this item it would uh, put some pressure into your CPU so I believe uh, if you it's not important for you to uh, you know have a precise vision you can put this menu to its uh, you know minimum place to you know uh, put less pressure to your CPU uh, the second step would be here we have CPU uh, section here and uh, three menus here should be turned on and the you know smart disable is related to your VSTs so if you turn it on while uh, VSTs are not working the full studio you know mute them and disable them and it affects to your CPU uh, uh, you know positively so be cautious that these three menus are turned on uh, the third step is your you know audio interface buffer size uh, I told you in uh, previous versions if you increase your buffer size uh, the amount of you know calculations that comes through to your CPU decreases so uh, if you increase this uh, you know measurement to its you know maximum level it leads to less pressure on your CPU and uh, the third one is here uh, you know it's something related to your mixer uh, these measurements here show you uh, the channels that these you know instruments are uh, routed to so we can see here uh, the kick is routed to channel mixer number one if we uh, you know use our kicks we can see in channel one we have some frequencies and for claps we can see our in channel two so you have to be cautious about your channel mixers because uh when you're routing all your instruments and waves or samples to one channel it's put a lot of pressure on your cpu so 
it's better for you to uh, you know route all different uh, you know VSTs to different channel mixers uh, these were these were necessary tips for your CPU usage and uh, in next section I'm going to uh, you know describe how to decrease your amount of memory that's being used uh, while using different VSTs uh, I have inserted just a wave here as you can see uh, we have uh, a menu here keep on disk if keep on disk turn is turned on uh, you know your wave file is uh, you know, saved on some part of your hard drive or your SSD um, and so on so uh, while it's it's its turn the FL studio goes and you know recall it from your disk uh, and if it is turned on it's uh, you know stored somewhere in your memory so if you have um, limitation uh, with your memory keep your uh, keep on on disk turned on as you can see here when you turn it off uh, 1 and 10 megabyte of RAM is being used when you turn it on I think something more than uh, 2 megabytes are you know spared and uh, for the last one one of the, uh, the most important and uh, useful VSTs are contacts so I believe all uh, you know producers are familiar with this uh, awesome VST and uh, here I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen while you're using your contact so I'm gonna insert a VST into my contact as you can see here uh, while you open your you know contact player all VSTs all samples are you know gathered together here on your RAM uh, this is uh, somehow you know a small VSC that I've inserted here but if you have uh, some others like you know Cine Brass, the orchestra or ultimate pianos these are very heavy VSTs so uh, if you have such these VSTs in your projects we have here uh, you know an option we have an option here to uh, you know uh, lessen the amount of uh, memory storage that's being used wi via your you know contact uh, this is here global purge purge all samples so you have to go he to here the save icon then to global purge and purge all samples if you purge samples uh, only the that samples that has been used in project will be loaded into your contact and into your RAM so uh, you should be considered about the global purge and for the next time that you play your um, you know project uh, the FLS2 will read and the contact will load those samples that's been used in your project Here again, um, I've seen it here is my home studio in my YouTube channel. I try to learn the beginners how to use dolls, different dolls such as Cubase and Fuller Studio for have a better experience and better sense while using this software. So please subscribe my channel uh, on YouTube and if you have any further questions, don't hesitate, ask me below. I'll uh, answer your question as soon as possible. Thank you.